in this tutorial I'll teach you how to create your oracle forms in oracle forms so start the oracle forms first and after that click on the uh, file menu to connect to the database type your username and give your password and connect to the database oops I gave the wrong password you must give the correct password after that rename your module name with your form name for example emp form then click on the data blocks note on the navigator and then click on create button here the window comes and will ask you to create a new data block using a data block wizard or build a new block manually so you should select the first one because in this will in this tutorial i'll teach you to create the form through wizard click on ok button click on next select the table of view click on next then set browse your tables for example EMP table I'll select in this case you can select some specific fields or you can click this button to select all fields to display in the forms just click the database layout wizard then finish click on next click next here you can also filter the fields to display on the canvas select all fields or select some specific as per your requirement you can rename here and you can uh, rename the titles on the form itself so I'll just click next here I'll edit in the form later here is the layout of the form form is a form layout and the tabular is a grid layout so I'll choose the form layout next you can give the title here for example employees next finish here your form is ready in a just simple way and uh, you can uh, modify the title names here also like you can give here like EMP code for example and then click anywhere and it will save now you can simply run the form and it will display the form on the screen your form is ready now you can query here by clicking this button execute query to display the existing data the form is ready so in next tutorials I'll teach you how to create buttons to save or delete the records in this form and how to create master detail forms and all so keep uh, watching my site so that you can view further tutorials thanks for this one